guys, how's it going? AC Milan MTL here and today I'm going to be talking to you about the World Cup qualifier match between Italy and Denmark that was played at the San Siro in Milan. So today was match day number 4 and uh, three Milan players were once again called up by uh, Cesare Prandelli to feature for the Italian side and they included uh, Montolivo, Abate and Nesharawi. However, only Montolivo and Abate played in this one uh, as it seems that Esharawi picked up a little knock on his knee in uh, training uh, yesterday. So he did not feature for this match and was well rested in order for him to uh, come back uh, for the Lazio game this weekend. So uh, let me tell you about the game, especially uh, on the Milan players, how they performed and uh, what happened uh, with them. So uh, let me start by Montolivo. Uh, he played for most part of the game from the first minute to the 85th minute uh, which uh, once again um, was used to see that Prandelli still has trust in this player and wants to use his full potential in order to help out the team. So uh, played 85 minutes today and it's, uh, he had a great performance uh, scoring one goal guys. Uh, he scored his uh, first goal at the San Siro I believe. Um, and um, it was a beauty but not to forget Balotelli's pass which was exceptional which put uh, Montolivo's shot on a silver plate in which he angled at perfection and the goalie had no chance uh, to save that shot uh, so that was the 1-0 goal by uh, Montolivo uh, throughout the game he, um, from uh, Friday's game versus the Minia, he played way better today. Uh, he, always, he was always fighting for the ball. Uh, seemed like he wanted to um, uh, perform well for the team, and also he was um, he showed his anger. He, he wanted to um, show everyone what he's capable of, and also his aggressivity, which in this player is uh, it's not really uh, his forte, I guess. So a uh, great game on uh, Montolivo's part, uh, as for Abate, uh, today he was rested versus Armenia on Friday, so today he featured and uh, him too, a well played game from him, uh, always supporting the attack and also making good crosses, in which one of his crosses almost resulted uh, in a goal. So uh, his uh, crossing is improving from uh, what we haven't seen in uh, this season in Milan. So uh, this is a positive aspect, I guess, uh, in which um, Abate could improve on and bring to Milan in this season. Uh, other than that, made some uh, smart decisions, good tackles as usual, uh, fast on the wings. However, sometimes stopping and uh, passing back, in which is something that we don't really want to see with this player. We want him to sprint fo forward and cross in the ball in order to create some chances. Other than that, great game for both Montolivo and Abate. Uh, great performance from them. Uh, I will probably give them an 8 on 10. Uh, great stuff from uh, the two Milan players. As for the rest of the team, uh, best players today, I would have to say Pirlo, which has been phenomenal this past few games. Uh, today providing two assists, uh, one uh, for um, De Rossi's goal and uh, the other one for Balotelli's goal. Uh, so once again, two assists today, uh, and last Friday he got one assist and one goal, so he's on fire at this moment of the season, uh, at that age, which is great for a player like him. Uh, other than that, uh, another great player that played today was Balotelli. Balotelli returned after two years and a half to the San Siro and showed the crowd what he's worth showed what he's all about and showed that he could still score goals just like he did at the Euro 2012. Uh, once again, always working hard. Today we saw a different type of Balotelli. A Balotelli that used to uh, always be in the front, always uh, supporting the attacking options, but today we saw something else from him. He came back and helped the defense in, in times of trouble and uh, also recuperated possession for the team, which is essential. And you don't see m many forwards doing that, but today Balotelli did it. And this is something positive, positive for the team, because if you can have a player like this playing for 9 minutes, um, playing forward and backwards, I mean, uh, always uh, working for the defense as well and regaining possession, this is something great. Uh, 
played with class today, scored a great finish, great goal uh, delivered from Pirlo. He finished it with ease, uh, the goalie had no chance on it, uh, and basically this player is out there to embarrass players with his technique. He's phenomenal, he's great, this player could grow, um, he could grow so much that it's not even possible to foresee. So uh, great playing uh, from the team in general, uh, Pirlo and um, De uh, Pirlo and Balotelli played the best today. As uh, for the worst, maybe DeSantis, uh, as you may know, he replaced Buffon today because Buffon wasn't able to play, he had uh, a light injury. And uh, so the Santos played today. Sometimes he was caught uh, under guard. He uh, couldn't really. Uh, he wasn't quick in thinking. Uh, sometimes gave away possession, but it's normal when uh, you don't get much time, uh, much playing time with the national team, and uh, you don't know exactly how they play um, together. Other than that, great performance once again. Three-one win, which puts uh, Italy up with 10 points in the group after 4 match days and uh, it seems like they'll be wrapping it up next year with no problems uh, great 4 games, 3 wins and 1 tie up to now um, other than that, that's all about uh, the international break uh, this weekend the Serie A resumes and Milan will be playing Lazio at the, the Stadio Olimpico in Rome uh, always, as usual, I will be posting match reports after the game uh, and it promises to be a very tough end of month for uh, Milan as uh, they play 4 games in 11 days starting from uh, this Saturday against Lazio. So uh, many tough ma uh, matches coming up ahead. Uh, as usual, look out here for the match reports. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you haven't checked it out, I'm now a partner on YouTube. I mentioned in the last video, but in case you haven't watched it, uh, check it out. Uh, click on my channel. You can see a nice uh, new background and banner. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to click on like. Subscribe for uh, daily vlogs with match reports and news. Uh, and this has been AC Milan MTL here, signing off.